Okay, good afternoon everyone. I'm Tony Chung and I'm uh, working on a project tentatively called Concerta Motion. I'm currently working on it, trying to work on a better name for it. And how many, got, how many of you guys are familiar with the Concerto Digital Sign System here at RPI? Okay, we got a couple of hands. It was created back in 2008 to allow the uh, RPI community to advertise more effectively on campus. And for what it's worth, it, it works quite well. It's easy as logging into a website, submitting content, and having it display on multiple screens on campus along with your favorite news and uh, headlines and everything like that. I mean, there's, there have been uh, some concerns about, and some ideas about making it more interactive and improving it. And one idea that I had was uh, this project called Control Motion. And it's an add-on to the Concerto Digital Signage System, which utilizes the capabilities of the Xbox Connect to allow viewers to interact with the screen. Right now, it has this like slideshow carousel-style method of displaying slides, which it's like display one slide for eight seconds and display the next slide for another ten seconds and things like that. And it makes and Concerto Motion makes it more interactive by allowing viewers to manipulate content using hand gestures, so you can actually browse for content like, like you've seen in the Connect, like playing games and interacting with the uh, Xbox dashboard. That kind of bring that to a Concerto. And the advantages of using this is that there are no physical buttons or remotes to take care of to uh, maintain or to protect. Because, I mean, we have some installations here, and if we, def if we put like physical buttons or remotes, they're gonna get vandalized in no time. And for, with the Kinect, it's, it, it's just as easy as put, attaching it to these displays that we have on campus that are, that you can't, re that are, you can't reach easily without a ladder or something. And it's easy to disguise. You can put it behind a box and you won't be, no one would really know what's behind that. And it, it also sets the framework for, uh, and I, another, one idea that I had was um, doing, you can do analytics using a facial recognition, like impression, like if you want to know how many people have viewed, have, uh, viewed your flyer or watched it, bring like typical analytics that you see on websites to the physical world to traditional signage. And what is what? And this is what I'm doing right now. I'm doing research into um, sorts efforts with uh, Connect development. And there are two important things that I wanted to highlight: is uh, LibreNet, which are open source drivers that use LibreUSB, allowing them to be allowing you to uh, write programs in user space to take advantage of the Connect along along all major platforms, Windows, Mac, and Linux. And in the Connect community, it's usually combined with some, uh, some kind of OpenCV, which is an open source computer vision library, to develop applications to uh, innovative applications using the Connect. And the second, part, the second thing which I discovered quite recently is something called DefJS by the MIT Media Lab, which is an AGPL li uh, licensed uh, uh, plugin, browser plugin that allows you to uh, access, uh, allows you to re uh, receive uh, event like hand, hand gesture events from the Connect from JavaScript. And it, behind the scenes, it uses LibreNet and OpenCV, and it's at its infancy right now. And it only supports like uh, browser forward and backward right now. And Another thing that I've been looking into is the uh, Concerto API documentation, which I discovered a slight hiccup in the API, which you're unable to get screen information from the version one API. Like with the current Concerto player software, it's able to determine like what feeds it should pull, like it should pull content from. That functionality is missing from is currently missing from the API, because, and that's important for determining which feeds that if I wanted to rewrite the client, which was my original plan. To determine which feeds to pull the content from, and it's, 
I just found out that I can't do that as a current API. And, it mean, and we're cu currently working on revising the timeline, probably uh, just creating a very modified, created, modifying the uh, live image to include Google Chrome and a custom plugin and the uh, DevJS plugin to uh, a lot to uh, just uh, to basically just to accomplish what I'm currently doing or what I currently want to do. And the best part about it is it requires no actual modification to the production code to the actual code base. It's all done on the client. Modifications are all done on the client side. And you can actually, and it allows me to demo against like the production installation we have here at RPI without breaking anything. It works around the API issue, and since Concerto One is development is kind of inactive due to Concerto Two, it's some it's something that it's a stopgap measure until that that, get, that finally gets released. And after this prototype's finished, I'm I'm going to continue work on the orig my original idea, which is an open source gesture recognition framework that allows. Uh, any any program to receive events like what DevJS is doing, but beyond the web application sphere, and just allowing you to receive gesture events using some kind of IPC mechanism on your platform. Any questions? How many different um, like connect frameworks did you look at? I mean, there's only libfreenet, libfreenet, which is kind of like the de facto, like the de facto drive, de facto drivers for it, and everything like everything from there it kind of stems from that. So I, I actually done a project before with Connect, and I used uh, the Code Labs CL NUI uh, drivers. Did you ever, did you look at those at all either? Or? I well, I know there are a lot of them, but there some of them have license, like licensing issues that aren't really. Uh, like there is this uh, Prime Sense has a, an API, but some, it requires some kind of licensing thing, which I'm not really not interested right. in touching, because I don't want to contaminate open, an open source project with uh, code with questionable license restrictions. Anyone? Have, any other questions? Yeah. So I understand. So you, you, the, 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 the concerto will be in a Chrome browser. Is that, is that the idea? The display the, when you can you go to the previous slide? So, uh, yeah, modify. Oh, what, what is the first? The, the concerto player soft. What? The, yeah. The concerto player software is what is actually running on all of the on the screens on campus right now. And it's basically right now it's a modified Linux distro with Firefox, and what I want to do with it is uh, take out Firefox, put in Chrome, put in the uh, DefJS extension, and then put in my own custom extension to replace the uh, rend uh, controller rendering code. So Just it runs in yeah. Firefox. Like yeah. Also. So what can't you do with Firefox with DefJS? Def DefJS, it's not, it's not as a it's it, like development's more uh, focused on uh, WebKit-based browsers. Like they have, uh, they are working for, for Safari, for Chrome, and it looks like it's more uh, developed. And the uh, extension mechanism in Chrome is pretty easy to use. You, you were saying you're switching from Firefox to Chrome for, yeah. for its WebKit. Uh, have you looked into Midori, which is also a WebKit-based browser, but it's um, it's a combination of GDK and GDK WebKit. I have looked into other browsers, but the point is, uh, DefJS ha has a Chrome ex has this, uh, bundle has the Chrome extension you can put in, oh. and it just works out. And it's supposed so to work out. So you just need that for DefJS. Yeah, I just need that for DefJS, and I can package a an ex custom extension for Concerto Motion, which which does the uh, which a lot integrates. Uh, Integrates the uh, uh, DefJS with the current player JavaScript code. Right. Now, would you be like adding two cameras to every screen on campus? Not that. I'm uh, just probably putting a one in for a demo right now. And the good thing about about the connector is that I yeah last week I didn't I wasn't able to get a find a connect but. Ever since mo I moved into my uh, off-campus apartment, two of my suite mates have Connect, so I can, I've been using those for uh, development now, which is pretty awesome. 
meaning I don't have to go and buy some. So hopefully, if yes, this project is successful, Microsoft may donate. Yeah. I'm hoping. I'm hoping that I'll donate some, uh -huh. some, some hardware because it's a lot of hardware. Any other questions?